here today to discuss with you the role that the gastrointestinal system may play in Parkinson's disease. We all know that Parkinson's disease is a condition that affects the nervous system with tremor and difficulty walking and stiffness and rigidity. What we don't know, enough yet at least, uh, is the role that the gut may play in Parkinson's disease. And that appears to be, in preliminary studies, to be very, very significant. We have learned, for example, recently that uh, the gut is affected in patients with Parkinson's disease in its entire length. That is from the mouth to the esophagus, to the stomach, to the small bowel, to the large bowel, all the way to the anal canal. Any of these domains, any of these elements of the gastrointestinal system can be affected by Parkinson's disease. And those abnormalities can even predate the neurologic manifestations of Parkinson's disease. And that is important to understand as well. So in my practice, I see patients with different stages of the disease. The disease that has minimal manifestations neurologically, but yet it has a lot of manifestations in the gut, all the way to people who are significantly compromised by the neurologic manifestations of their disease. And they also have gut problems that if identified and managed appropriately, can actually help the patient's quality of life. And we have done a tremendous amount of clinical research to help us understand how we can actually identify these issues in the gut, how the treatment of these issues in the gut can help the patients live, living better lives in terms of their Parkinson's disease and how they function every day. Um, we're doing, in particular, we're doing a study which actually looks at how the gut problem evolves over time, over a course of years in patients with Parkinson's disease and how understanding that gut problem, measuring it in a quantitative way can help us predict how the Parkinson's disease will evolve. And that's, a, a, in my opinion, a very significant study that is done prospectively in, over time in the given individual with Parkinson's disease that will help us really understand what exactly is going on and help us with uh, management decisions and treatment decisions. So we're trying at this point to recruit individuals who are interested in participating in the study uh, to understand that. The way we do that study is we ask the individuals who are interested in participating in undergoing some tests on a yearly basis. And there are three tests <coughs> other than questionnaires that assess their symptoms. The first test is esophageal manometry, or high-resolution esophageal manometry. And this studies how the esophagus works and how well it coordinates to move the food from the mouth down into the stomach. The second test uh, is a pill test that measures how quickly or not uh, things go through the gut from the esophagus into the stomach, into the small and large intestine, and how it comes out of the system. That tells us about the transit time it's required for this pill to go through the different domains of the gut. And finally, another test, which is called an anorectal manometry, is a test that allows us to understand how the anal sphincter, which is the distal muscle that controls continence, coordinates with the large intestine in the process of constipation and in the process of evacuation of stool. So by doing these three simple tests, we can actually understand the impact of the disease along the entire length of the gut and how that evolves over time and help us improve the quality of life of the individual patient as well as understand how things work and how things stop working over time in the disease uh, progression. So I wanted to share you with you these thoughts and uh, I'm looking forward to meeting some of you who are interested in participating in this study. Thank you very much.